My new jet-powered baggage buggy, Donald. It runs two blocks on a quart of firecrackers. Look out! Clear the streets! For... And watch out the streets fill with delivery boys driving those days. <laughs> Flower Goodness has been trying for ten years to invent something practical. This is the newest since Tom Young. <laughs> I'll take out time to go and see what happens. I haven't had a good life for weeks. Uh-oh. <laughs> you had a tree. Of course. This is where I wanted to stop. Slowman Fetching. <laughs> I haven't had time to perfect it. I've been too busy inventing thick boxes. All right, boys. Grab a think box, and we'll take him into the woods. Huh? You call those three stink boxes. Would I be too inquisitive if I asked? Certainly not, Donald. I'm proud of these boxes. They're my newest and greatest invention. And through the branches, you said you looked like thought rings, like a candle? See? We put one on each side of an animal trail, and any animals that pass through the ray beam learn how to think. And more than that, Uncle Daniel, the animals will be able to talk and do things like human beings. Now we'll turn on the thought ray, and tomorrow morning we'll come back and see if it has worked. And I thought the brothers, but it was a strong invention. How? How come you kids are messed up in this nonsense? We're working for Mr. Kidlers. Where is my assistance? Oh, but the name of a duck should never sit so low. Boys, you have to stop working for that screwball camera. Why? After you download? You, you. Well, you big and left and stop to the town. You big jokes. Oh? Think of it. People will hear about you helping Tyra with the steam boxes. And they'll tease you for the rest of your lives. We'll take our chances. People soon stop teasing anything about Tony. But Travel's no Edison. He's just a harmless crackpot. So was Edison until his adventures quit. I said the kids have to be straightened out. Kids are bloody sore when they want their brains on kids. I'll use strategy. I'll make them so ashamed of him to quit. Red top in ya! I want to run the wild side! Have you got a wolf costume? One that looks really enough to bite! Like this? Yes! That's just the ticket! Now, when Tyra and the kids go to the woods in the morning, they'll bring a wolf that has learned to fit with a human brain! <laughs> I can hardly wait to see what wonders my think boxes have worked. Lots of animals pass through the bird last night. Plus even the sound of wolf tracks. Ah, uh, yes, gentlemen. <coughs> that was me. Good morning. A wolf! A wolf! And he's talking! My invention works! 
I take it that you're the inventor of this marvelous device that unchains the minds of us poor dumb beasts. Y yes, sir. My thanks, sir. Last night, I was a mere stupid wolf on my way to steal a chicken. I passed through your thought ray and presto, suddenly I was thinking and acting like a human being. I no longer had an appetite for raw chicken. I wanted cooked food. Roast duckling! Yeah. <laughs> what can be wrong? Did I set one of those dials on gluttony? I did the heads a good star. Then I reveal myself. Roast duckling! <laughs> no, no, Mr. Wolf! Can't you settle for fried shrimp? Hold on there, wolf. You're not gonna harm any little boys while I'm around. I wasn't harming them, stupid. I was only going to scare them. And if that's any of your business, I'm not a wolf. I'm a duck. Har, 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 har. That ain't the half of it, buddy. I'm not a dog. I'm a wolf. <laughs> you know, the funniest thing happened to me last night. I was going down the path to steal a chicken. And I passed between two funny boxes that were sitting beside the trail. Yes, yes. And all of a sudden, I didn't want chicken anymore. I wanted cooked food. Roast. Duck. Yeah! What's in those boxes anyway, bud? Some kind of appetite raise? I'm afraid so. Hey, the wolf was not tasting us anymore. He disappeared. Let's go back and see if Jabba's all right. Look, the mouse of the stuff are on the ground. I want to get those tricks. Yeah, a wolf got him. A real wolf. Yeah, Captain. You were right. Yeah, funny thing. Me and the missus took a walk down the path last night. Past two funny boxes. But never mind. If you're going to save your uncle, you better start hopping. They went that away. It's a kind of good to mess up in this. What would a wolf want with him anyway? Uh-oh. Yes, sir. Oh, I suddenly got the doggone craving for roast duck. We can't count on that wolf with our bare hands. We gotta get Taro to help us. Taro! Taro! Mr. Kittles! Can you reverse those two boxes? Why, yes! I can double the beam back from B box to A box, causing the polar negative to break up the cosmic positive. Never mind the details! We gotta break up the detergent! Now to garnish you with a little sage. Mister, can you spare a dime for a bunch of carrots? Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> 